In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, the first step is to actually add your logos in. So as you can see, I've got this text logo and I've also got this actual logo, this image file. So as you can see, I've got this and I've got this. So first things first, I need to actually get rid of the background of this and I need to change the font to white. So I'm going to go into effects and presets, search for tint, drop tint onto this layer. Then I'm just going to select swap colors and that's going to make that white. Now, as you can see, if I toggle the transparency grid, you can see that black background is still there. So in order to get rid of that, I would just go into toggle switches slash modes to find mode and I would change the blend mode from normal to screen. And that should get rid of that if we have a background. So if we add a blue background, for example, as you can see, that background is not there. However, if there's nothing behind it, then you will still see that black background. But let's just go with that for now and we'll worry about that problem later on. So first things first, let's turn on the proportional grid to help with framing. So I'm just going to put the image file in the center of the frame. So I've centered up around there. Then I'm just going to press S to load the scale and we'll increase the scale of this. Then I'm just going to put the word below it and put that around here maybe. There you go. And now we'll just drag these both up a little bit like this. Now, if you don't have a text based version of your logo, then feel free to go into the title window and type out your font this way, type out your logo or your brand name, then change all of the settings here. But I do have the luxury of having that. So I'm just going to carry on at this point. So first things first, I just want to create the square around the logo. So I'm going to turn on the proportion of grid to help with framing. Then I'm going to go up to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around here. Now I'm just going to use these grid lines as reference to help with the creation of this, just to keep that nice and even. And then I can go into fill and make sure no fill is selected. Then we'll go into stroke and make sure there is a solid color on the stroke. And then we'll just decrease the width of this a little bit. And then we can move this up so that it is no longer blocking the text. And I'm just going to press S on the keyboard to load scale. And I'm just going to shrink this down a little. There you go. That looks about right. Although I do need to pull that text down. So as you can see, I've got the logo and I've got the box created. Feel free to make any adjustments to that box if it doesn't look right for any reason. So that looks a bit short. So I'm just going to increase the height of that. And that now looks about right. I do also need to separate this. So I want my text on two different lines. So I'm just going to do that now. So I'm just going to select the text logo. I'm going to go into the rectangle mask and I'm just going to draw a mask around the left side of this logo. Then I'm just going to make a copy of that. So command C, command V. Then I'll just move the mask over onto the right so that we've only got the right side. So we should have Brooker and we should have films. There we go. Now I'm just going to move films under the Brooker like this and we'll move them both under. So as you can see at the moment, I've got everything visually mapped out. So it's all there. It's all looking visual. It's all looking really cool. However, there's no animation at this point. So this is where I would go through the process of animating each layer one by one. Just before we carry on with this video, I'm going to take a quick break to talk about my Skillshare courses. If you're enjoying these YouTube videos, but you would prefer more long form content, then my Skillshare courses are perfect for you. I have a two hour plus course all about Adobe After Effects and it teaches you everything you need to know to get started and to get familiar with the interface and how After Effects works. So if you're interested and you want to learn more, then please feel free to check the link in the description below. Now back to the video. So let's first start with this box. So make sure the cursor is at the beginning. I'll go into that shape layer. So we'll go into this, go add trim paths. We'll go into trim paths and pull the end down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on that by selecting the stopwatch icon. Go roughly one and a half seconds over and we'll pull that up to 100%. Then we'll just select both of those keyframes. We'll right click one of them, go to keyframe assistant 
and we'll select Easy Ease, and that should convert that keyframe into an Easy Ease keyframe to give us a nice soft animation. There you go. Now we can animate the logo to appear from that box. So rather than bouncing in or fading in, I'm going to have this sliding up from that bottom line. So once that line has come across, we'll go onto that logo, press P on the keyboard to load position, create a brand new keyframe on the position, then we'll go back on ourselves a few frames and pull the position down so that it is below this line. So as you can see, that's going to animate into the space. And again, I'll convert those into easy ease keyframes. So you can see this is our action. Looks really cool. The push up from the logo was a little too fast though. So I'm just going to increase the gap to slow that down. And that looks better. However, the problem is we can still see that logo waiting. So we're just going to go to that last keyframe and we'll just draw a rectangle mask around the box. Then we go into that mask, create a brand new keyframe on mask path, go to that first keyframe, and then we'll just move that mask up so that it is now over that box again. So we don't want that mask to go anywhere. If it drifts like this, by the way, then nudge that back up again. We don't want this mask to disappear below the box, or we don't want it to disappear above the box. We want to keep that perfectly in line with the box, so like this. The reason why it's drifting a little bit is because of those easy ease keyframes. So just scrub through and make sure that isn't going anywhere where it shouldn't. But now when we play this back, you can see that's sliding into place and that's looking quite nice. So now that we've got that created, we now just need to move on to the text. So I'm just going to fade in the first word and then I'll drop the bottom word down. So as this comes in, we'll go to the top logo. So we'll go to the top word. Press T on the keyboard to load opacity. We'll pull this down to zero. Create a brand new keyframe on opacity. Move over half a second and pull this down to zero. Let's see how that looks. Now you can just fade in the bottom one as well. So if we select that bottom one, we'll go T on the keyboard to load opacity. Create a brand new keyframe at 0%. Move over 100%. So you can see they're both going to fade in at a staggered time. And that's how this looks. And that definitely does work. However, if you wanted to, you could do some actual animation on that. So you could have that dropping down and that drop down would look something like this. So we'll go across, press P on the keyboard to load position. Then we'll go over to the left and we'll pull this down. Then we'll go over to the left even more and we'll push this up just so that it is above the text. So you can see that's going to bounce down. Then from there, we want to go ahead and create a mask around the word. So there is a mask already created. So we'll just go into that mask. So masks, mask one. We create a brand new keyframe on the mask path, lining up with this last keyframe. Then we'll go over to the second keyframe. Again, we'll keep that there. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path again. And then we'll go to the very beginning. And we're just going to pull this mask down below the top word. So you can see it's now just going to drop into that mask like this. So let's play this back from the very beginning, see what we have. There you go. That looks really cool. So this animates in and around. You got the logo and then you got the text coming in like this. Now, let me go back to this box dilemma. So if we were to create a new solid and we'll change the color of this to like a dark blue, for example, and add this to the bottom. You can see at the moment that is completely fine. However, if the blending mode was normal, you would see this box appearing. But if we change that to screen or lighten, then it gets rid of that issue for us. So if you do happen to have your logo on a solid black background, then just change the blending mode to screen or lighten and providing you've got a background there, then that should disappear. But there you go. That is how you create this really simple but really effective logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.